Hey guys, welcome back to Code with Chuck. Uh, today we're gonna take our AI monster tutorial and we're gonna give his attack an explosion and some force uh, that's gonna push our player around as he hits the ground. Uh, just to show you real quick, if I can get in front of this guy. Okay, boom. There was an explosion when he hit the ground and then it also uh, pushed my player away as well. So that's what we're gonna work on. Let's get to it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is if we take a look at our short range attack montage that we made in a previous video, there's these different tracks and one of them is called notifies. These are different timed events that we can call based on this notify function. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new animation notify. We can do this by creating a blueprint class, hitting all classes and searching notify. Okay, we select anim notify and then let's call this uh, short range attack underscore an for anim notify. All right, so under our montage, if we look at the notify section, there can be multiple tracks. If you don't have one here, you can hit the drop down and hit add notify track. I already have one here. So I'm gonna right click at some point and hit um, add notify. From here, we're gonna see the short range attack AN. Click that, it adds it to our chart. Now what we need to do is change the location of this to when our monster hits the ground so that the timing is right. So let's get it pretty close for now. Boom. So let's take the slider and we can see right about, I kind of want it when he first hits the ground. So maybe there. That seems good. All right, so now let's go back and go into our We're gonna go up to functions and select this override. And we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna override the receive notify function. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna spawn a blueprint that we create, which has the explosion and the forces in it. First, we need to figure out exactly the location that we're gonna spawn that because it's not gonna be the same location as the monster. It's probably gonna be a head up where the tentacles hit the ground. So we're gonna do a couple things. First, we're gonna take the mesh component and we're going to get the owner of it, which should be our skeletal mesh. From there, we're gonna get the forward vector And then we're going to create a new variable and we'll call it location offset. Make this one a float. So let's pull that in. And we're going to multiply our forward vector by this location offset. From there, we're going to get the location of the owner. And we're going to add that to the result of the multiply node. From there, we're going to spawn an actor at that location. Straighten this out. We're going to split the spawn transform and plug this into the location. Now we still need to select a class in here, but we haven't created our class yet. That's why we have this compile error. Now that we've had that made, let's go back to our uh, montage and click the anim notify. 
we need a way to input a variable here of the distance that we want it to be ahead. So if we go back and we select our location offset, we're going to select expose on spawn, and then we're also going to hit this little uh, public eyeball icon here. So we'll go back to our montage, and you can see now it has a variable for location offset. I'm going to start with 1200 for this character. Okay, perfect. So we're going to go back to our content folder and we're going to create a new blueprint and we'll call it, or we'll make it an after blueprint. And let's call this uh, short range attack PV. Okay. So now in that blueprint, we're going to add a couple things. First, we're going to add a particle system and we're going to select the template to be an explosion which is included in Unreal Engine. And I'm going to scale this up a little bit, uh, make it 10 times bigger. So when this actor spawns, this particle event automatically plays with its default settings. So I'm going to add another one and it's going to be a radial force. And then for the radial force, we're going to change a couple things. We're going to change the radius to 500, the impulse strength to 1500. We're going to check impulse velocity change and change the force strength to 600. Now, these are all variables you're going to want to change depending on your character, how strong the attack is, how much you want it to affect things nearby. Um, but those are some variables that I found that worked well for this character. We also need to go to the event graph and pull in our radio force and we need to activate this by using the fire impulse node. So let's place that there. All right. Perfect. So we need to go back to our animation notifier and select which class we're going to spawn. So this is going to be our short range attack blueprint we made. Let's compile that and make sure everything is saved. Let's go back and see if it works. Okay, so we run up to our character or our monster and then he does his attack and boom, right on top of us. I'm going to do it a couple times. You see how the explosion pushed my character away? And this way, you can see how the uh, character is taking force. The animations are reacting with that. And also, one other thing is, let's see if we can bring this guy over to some of these blue boxes and see if he executes force on them. Okay, so it looks like, yep, he's pushing and knocking those boxes. And then this also works with the uh, Chaos Destructible system too. So you could have it so he destroys buildings or, you know, um, meshes that break apart, those sorts of things. That's all for today. Thanks for joining me. Hope to see you next time.